Hello, this is Chris with CricketUsers.com, and today we're going to knock out two benchmarks for Cricket wireless devices. This is HTC One V. This is actually the Virgin Mobile version, but it's pretty much going to be the same. And over to the left, we have the Huawei M660, also better known as the Ascend Q. And of course, on the right, we have a Galaxy S3. This particular one isn't on Cricket, but we have been able to get these devices on Cricket, both the Ver uh, Verizon version and the Sprint version. I haven't come across a US cellular version, but if we do, we'll definitely flash that as well. Uh, first, we're going to start with Quadrant. Remember, these tests aren't an indicator of everyday performance, but in general, if one phone really beats another phone by a lot, a big margin, chances are it will perform better. So I will run these tests twice. The first time I'll let you go all the way through. The second time I'll just read out the results. I'm not going to get into the details of all the results. I'll probably just give you the main number because it takes a while to read that out. If we're lucky you'll be able to see it on the screen. You are going to be able to notice that the Samsung Galaxy S3 pretty much blows these devices straight out of the water. But that's one of the great things about having Cricut Wireless is that a lot of the times you do have the choice to use a flash phone. Of course if you're a Pago user in an area that doesn't that isn't considered a home market for Cricut Wireless you probably won't be able to use a flash phone but for most of the prepaid users you will. For more information about flashing just visit our forum we have it broken down into devices. There are a lot of helpful people that will be able to give you answers about flashing your device. Our Galaxy S3 is running Cyanogen Mod uh, 10, so it's on Jelly Bean. Uh, it scored 4,331. Uh, I ran this a little bit before and it came out higher than the HTC One X. Most of the times when I'm running it on the stock TouchWiz, it comes out higher than the HTC One X as well. And you can see the HTC One V has already moved over to the graphics test while the Ascend Q is still running some of the other tests. So it is much faster. It does have a 1 GHz processor. And it came in a little bit higher than the HTC Desire HD and the Samsung Nexus S with a score of 2068, which is less than half of what the Galaxy S3 wound up with. And the Ascend Q came out with a score of 1,873, which is still higher than HTC Desire HD and the Samsung Nexus S. Actually, I decided I'm only going to run this once just because of how long it takes. Hopefully on the screen you can see how much better the display is on the HTC One V and Galaxy S3 compared to the Huawei device. The next test I'm going to run is Linpack. Even though there's a multi core device. I'm just going to run single thread on all three. Okay, the Send Q came in last with 20.547, HTC One V 33.188, and the S3 with 60.355. We'll go ahead and run multi-thread on that because it is a multi-core device. Result was 104.827. 33.347 and 20.838. 
The last thing we're going to run is Nina Mark II. With this test, you should really be able to see the difference in color. Fifty-eight point nine frames per second on the Galaxy S3, twenty-eight point seven on the HTC One V, and twenty-five point five on the Huawei M660. You also have to realize the resolution that's being outputted on each of these devices. The Huawei is 480 by 320 as the Adreno 200. The Galaxy S3 is outputting 1280 by 720 Adreno 225 and the HTC One V 800 by 480 with Adreno 205. Actually I do have one more test in general, this test might be an indicator of touchscreen sensitivity. Really, these are all multi-touch devices, which means they can detect at least two different points. Alright, the numbers on the displays right now are the maximum number of points that they were able to detect. You can see right there, only two for the M660, two for the 1V, and ten points for the S3. So for more information about these devices and flash and devices of Cricut Wireless, Cricut Wireless in general, accessories, etc., Please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.